thank you for finding the time to come in on our last week here on the show. It means a great deal to us, and there is a lot going on. There is so much happening. Ray, for you right now, you have your new movie. It's out, which is brilliant. Last week, your daughter... <laughs> yeah, last week... Last week, your daughter got engaged. Oh, you wow, congratulations yeah. to her. You must be over the moon. <laughs> you must be over the moon. I am. Uh, with all that going on, my... My daughter sent, on Monday, my daughter sent my wife and I a picture of just her with no, wow. no words, just her with the <laughs> ring. Yeah, yeah, and, um, <laughs> it was, so, it was so did he not, did he not come and say to you? He, this? he asked permission months before, but right. he, we thought he was going to do it in the summer. So okay. it was a little bit of surprise. It was very emotional. Do we like him? Uh, we do like him. Good. We do like him. That's yeah. good news. I mean, That's I, good news. Believe me, I've been watching him. I've been yeah, watching him. I'm sure you have. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, as soon as as soon as I saw the picture, of course I got emotional. But then, um, you know, I know my daughter. This movie needs to make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> no. Please. That's why he's here for his daughter. <laughs> Please yeah. go watch the movie. This will pay for, like, <laughs> yeah. uh, the napkins. It will. <laughs> we'll cover something. Yeah. It has to. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Gal, you, uh, you grew up in Israel. Right. And you, wow. you said... There's a Gal. Yeah, there's I a have Gal. a representation here. Hi, Now, Gal. you Let said something, know. and you said that, you said that uh, it's a culture with no filters. Right, Now, is. what do you mean by this? I, it is a trait I've seen in Just Hagar. Just the fact you're asking the question... Yes. What do you mean by this being a culture with no filters means that you come from a culture with filters, Oh, right? very well. <laughs> I'm, I'm British. We are just, We're, you know, it's just... Yes, although it's we scones. share very similar humour, yes, I feel. Yes, we do. Sarcasm and... Mm. No. But was this a problem when you came to America I having, was a, having no filters? I was oblivious. Israelis are... You know, chutzpah came mm. from Israel. Yeah. What we we say, how we feel, for good and for bad. And when I came to America, it was mind blowing to me. I was sitting in meetings, and they said all the right things, all the right things. And then I left the meeting, and something just didn't click. I was having like an, an a, a thing. Right. A cri not a crisis, but like I didn't. And I usually I'm very good with reading people. Sure. I couldn't do it here. Now I'm better. Well, now so, I know yeah, all I mean, that. It's just the opposite. You here. know when they say, um, well, when they say, I, I don't disagree with you, but da -da -da -da, like they sugarcoat everything. Yes. You're oh. polite. Mm -hmm. American are normal people, polite people. And just play along. I am just <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know and I'm I have uh, chutzpah. Yeah, I yeah. get it. I mean, you're, you're from a, you're from an Italian American. Oh yeah. Family. Can you relate to this? Yeah, there's no filters at the dinner table <laughs> of an Italian American family. Yes. yes. And also, I've I married for 35 years. Wow. God there God. are negative filters <laughs> in that. Yeah. Go on. Yes. If what? Well, my, uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, today, my wife asked me to take out the garbage, and I was just playing around with her. I said, so you're asking the, a, the director of a movie that's in theaters <laughs> yeah. now yeah. to take out the garbage, to which she said, you're still the dick I married. <laughs> yeah. Not go. making it up. <laughs> now, girl, your, your mother was a, a, a gym teacher. You right. played a lot of different sports when you right. were growing up. I think I know, I think I can tell what... Getting to know you as I have these last few years, what kind of sports player you were, I can only imagine you are fiercely competitive. Would fiercely that be right? Fiercely competitive, sore loser. Really? Fiercely competitive. It's disgusting. What were the sports? <laughs> what were the sports that you were that you were into that you were good at? That I was good at mm. volleyball. Yeah, I was good at. Uh. Um, and mostly volleyball. Okay. I tried tennis. <laughs> I was That's great in enough. basketball. Yeah. I was like the tall player who takes all the rebounds mm -hmm. and all the stuff, but I was just fast and tall. Um, so yeah, volleyball. And how, <laughs> how are you now as a parent if your kids get into sports? What are you like on the sidelines? Disgusting. Go on, why? Because <laughs> I'm like the, the, I'm the mom 
the Israeli mom who sits on the bench and I go, yes, good hustle, good hustle. No, focus, don't look at me. And she'll be like, Ima, shh, stop. Right. And I'll go, no, you focus as if we're, you know. But we have those, we have American versions of that. Yeah. yeah. Of course. I mean, what, what were you like when your kids got into sports? Well, that's, I mean, interesting enough, that's what this movie is about. Yeah. My son was six foot five and he was a wow. high school. Yeah, he was the, the, one of the stars on his high school team. And when it was ending, I was very sad because I, I was happy for him, but I also liked being <laughs> the father of the star basketball. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted that attention. I mean, how, how pathetic is it? I, I'm on TV, I don't get enough attention. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to get it there. But um, so that's, what, that's actually what I wrote the story about. Somewhere in Queens, it is, it's funny, it's uh, emotional. I know it's close to your heart, and I feel like we... I, I remember you were here right before you were going to go off to direct the movie. Yeah. And I'm, I think it's such an... It, it, the, what, so many people say that, they're, oh, I'm going to go and direct a movie. You went and you did it, and you yeah. did it, and you've done it brilliantly. How did you enjoy the experience of directing for the first time? I... Well, you're assuming I enjoyed it. OK. Uh, <laughs> I did enjoy it. I did ultimately enjoy it, but it was terrifying. And I remember you giving me advice... And, and recommending that book, my, yes. my first movie. It's a brilliant book. Yes, yeah. and I read it, and I read about, you know, all these great directors and their first time directing. And Steve Buscemi was talking about how he cried uh, every, every day. Night. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, um, and I just took it on. You know, the, the story was too personal um, to, to not direct it. My agent kind of twisted my arm. You were giving me advice. Um, and when, you know, once, once we started, all the nerves went away. And it was great because Laurie Metcalf was so so the nice. Cost so, is yeah. incredible. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was worried about. You know, there was veteran actors, and now, you know, sitcom boy is going to go tell <laughs> them, tell it's an the actor. Imposter uh, syndrome. The what syndrome? Imposter syndrome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and also it's very delicate when you have to tell an actor, you're not quite getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Not in those words, but yeah. But they were so nice, and, and I, I got lucky. I think I, maybe I got lucky with a, wow. with a great cast and all, you know? But um, I, I, I enjoyed it. You should be so proud of it. I don't think you got lucky. Yeah, I, I, I hope you do it again, because <laughs> uh, I, it, this is, it, it's a film that everybody should be going to your theatre to, to, to go and find. It's absolutely beautiful, with an incredible cast, and it's, it's, it's incredible that it's your first film. It's fantastic.